difficulties weren't so much with finding the um, goal of the scene or anything like that, but uh, my Nashville Shakes has a very unique rehearsal process from anything I'm used to, and it's very like loose in terms of patterns for a long time. Um, I'm a very kinetic learner. Uh, I have to have it in my body before I can really memorize things. So, um, like even just in school, I can't retain things that I just read. I have to read things out loud and move. Um, so that would be my challenge. I don't know if that answers the same question, but that's what comes to mind of, that's a difficulty I faced. Um, I think mine, like you said, like you, especially if you know the story, and you're, you just have some, you just have an expectation when you come to a show, or you're waiting for it, you know? And it would definitely be uh, the mad scene, because there's different, uh, what's the word? Um, I don't even know what word I'm looking for. It's pro it's really simple, <laughs> but there's different feelings of the word mad. I don't know what word I was looking for there. Synonyms. But, so there's different there's different ways of Strategy. of expressing Strategy. being mad or what people see as connotations. Mad. And for me, <laughs> for me, <laughs> um, the way I approached Ophelia, she and like Den okay. Denise has said this plenty of times. You don't see yourself as being what somebody else portrays you to be like mad and I don't and that in that period that I'm in it I don't I'm not saying that I'm crazy you know this is not how I want to put myself I want you to listen to what I have to say because to me it this makes complete sense and um, I think that that was a challenge that I ran into because I, I didn't want to and you know I have the flowers in my hair and you know that there's stuff added to it because you know, it's a collaborative art, so we're all coming together to make this, this scene happen, but I really wanted to approach it, whereas I want you to understand that this is what she's going through. So I don't want you just to see this crazy person going, ah, you know what I mean? So I think that was a big challenge for me. This time was one of the few times, I've done a couple of these roles before, so lines didn't come that were not that difficult to, to get down this time. Uh, for me, it was a lot of what was going to happen with the physical, the physical set, what that was going to be involved with, uh, the the filming or not filming, uh, what that was going to be. I mean, originally, during rehearsals, the ghost was anywhere and everywhere. Uh, I played behind the player, other players' backs. I played right in their face. I played behind the wall here, beating the wall and, and making noises. I played up in the balcony up there so they could give it another different perspective another vocal uh, focal point that they could look uh, at various pots and see me or not see me uh, so I, I all in in the effort to stretch time a little bit and see exactly what I was gonna do and it got closer and closer and closer and it's like oh oh okay this is what we're gonna do okay and then for the gravedigger there was a whole plot that has to be had to be built that Lauren and I didn't get until again late in the process so that was an, another element of that that I had to work with so mine was basically dealing with uh, physical things that I couldn't you know necessarily were not in my hands to control 